guys, today on Low Carb with Jennifer, we are making this delicious keto chocolate cake and a chocolate whipped cream icing. It's a super easy cake. Whenever you have that chocolate craving hit, you can find the link to the recipe in the description below, or you can go to jenniferbands.com and search for chocolate cake. Okay, we're gonna get started on this easy chocolate cake. It's a keto chocolate cake. And all we're gonna do is dump all of these ingredients into this bowl and mix it up and bake it. And then our frosting is gonna be super simple. It's going to be just um, powdered sweetener and heavy cream and some chocolate. So this is just an easy cake recipe, no fuss. You know, just whenever you have a cake craving and you want some cake, chocolate cake. So that was six eggs. And now we've got some melted butter that we're gonna add. And then we've got some swerve here. It's three quarters of a cup of swerve. We've got baking powder. We've got cocoa powder. And this is coconut flour. And I know that coconut flour is really kind of finicky. So sometimes it is more absorbent than others. So we're gonna look at this and make sure that it absorbs really well before we bake it and we may need to add more. And you can use a, a, an electric mixer if you want. And I'm gonna do that. mixing this with a spatula. But that is exactly how we want our cake batter to look. It's nice and thick, but not too thick. It's really good. And you could use this batter to make cupcakes if you wanted to, or mini cupcakes. And now we're ready for our, this is just a little casserole dish and that we've sprayed. And now we're gonna add the batter into the, the dish. And the way that, you know, like keto baking works is you really can't test it with like a toothpick how you would traditionally, a traditional cake. You just kind of have to, I don't want to say wing it, but you just have to make sure that it gets done. You know, just make sure it's springy on top, but it's still going to be a little, you know, wet on the inside. If you let it cook too long, this will get extremely dry. So you have to be careful not to overcook it. Okay, and that is ready for the oven. So while our cake is cooking, I'm going to go ahead and make the frosting, which is super simple. It's going to be some heavy cream. So because we, we don't want our frosting to be lumpy and usually cocoa powder is lumpy. So I'm gonna sift it in here. This is getting all of those lumps. And now I'm also going to sift, sift the powdered sweetener. And I don't know if I'm going to use all of this after I, I'm going to add half and then after it's finished whipping, I'm going to taste it and make sure it's not too sweet. This has a lot of lumps. This is a powdered sugar-free sweetener. I'm glad that I sifted it. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hands 
And then I'm gonna mix this. Almost forgot, gotta add the vanilla. Okay, and now we can mix this up. And you wanna mix it up to stiff peaks. See how this tastes. Mmm, that's super chocolatey. I'm gonna add in the rest of this sweetener. Okay, our frosting is all ready. It's the perfect amount for the top of that cake. And if you wanted to make like a layer cake or you wanted to make it in like a cake pan where you wanna frost the sides, you might want to double this frosting recipe. But this is just enough or like a snack, snack, snack cake size. Okay, so when our um, cake comes out of the oven, we're gonna let it cool before we frost it because if we don't, all of our frosting is just gonna melt and it's gonna be a huge mess. So let's just set this aside. You actually probably wanna set this in the refrigerator and keep it cold before you put it on the cake. Okay, our cake is all out and I cooled it down in the refrigerator so it's all ready to be iced. So let's do that. Perfect amount of frosting. Looks like that. And now we can cut slice. Super excited. I've been craving chocolate cake. Oh yeah, look at that, it is super moist and so chocolatey. Mm -hmm. That is good. Mm. Hope I don't have chocolate in it. So of course you can find the recipe for this. You can find the link for this recipe in the description below, or you can go to jenniferbands.com and search for keto chocolate cake, and you will find this recipe, and you will also find my chocolate uh, mug cake that is out of this world delicious. And I'm so glad that you watched this video, and thank you for watching. I will talk to you guys later, bye.